Break it up! It. Break it up! Get, him, Nash. Get out of here, both of you! Think that I won't. It's all right, Mac. I can handle these two. Oh, not tonight, Maddie. You guys get out of here before I call the cops. You're the man. Come on. No, <laughs> no, 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 wait, come on, leave him alone. Spread out, just give us some food and him and I. Yeah, you want some more? Come on! Hey, do you think that Jessica's kidding? This is a cop bar, okay? He's got an LPD on speed dial. What's going on? What's going on? This guy has a picture of you on his phone. He says that you, well, that Tess, put him in prison. You want to tell him, baby, or should I? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay. Everything. The poker game. The vineyard. The job at BE. It's all about you. This guy's obsessed with you. Okay, why don't we just call it a night? No, I'll miss the uh, heartbreaking confession scene. Shut up. Listen, we'll just talk about this at home, okay? Word of warning. Your wife's got a major tell. If she gets naked, she's lying. How dare you? It's okay, Natalie. Is it true? Tell me when. He, uh, knew Tess. Yeah. So you want me to marry you? Turn my life upside down? Turn the lives of our children upside down? All for nothing? When the going rate for something like this is uh, going five million like dollars? <laughs> Going, going. Oh, come on. Why don't you look at it like it's a favor? A favor? A favor is an MP3 player in a goodie bag, Todd. This is a marriage. This is a hardship. And we're terrible at it. You know that. I know it and the kids know it. And there's no reason to go down that road again. It's not but fair this isn't anybody. a real marriage. It doesn't matter. We're terrible at it. Look, we're not even fake married now and we're fighting. What do you think about our kids? Star might be able to wrap her head around, but Jack, he wouldn't. He's gonna think we're getting back together for real. I'll talk to Jack. No, we won't talk to Jack. Well, you know what? Hmm. If you don't marry me, I may never get to talk to him again. Oh, come now, on. Now, listen. If that judge rules I'm an unfit father, I might lose him, I might lose Star. Is that what you want? It's not gonna happen, Doc, because I'm never gonna keep you from your kids. Okay? Well, that's not up to you. Listen, just marry me. Please, please. Please. Oh, don't do this. Yes, please. Blair, look, just marry me. It'll solve all our problems. I stabbed Spencer Truman. Well, Lizzie, stop. shut don't up. Say Another do one. Job. Order, order. Another outburst and I'll clear this courtroom. Now, everybody just sit down. Ms. Rappaport, I'll ask you again. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor. Uh, Your Honor, the people request a recess so that we can determine how to proceed. I don't want a recess. I want to tell the truth. I need to tell the truth now. All of it, please, Your Honor. You do realize that everything you say here would become part of the legal record. Yes, yes, I understand. All right. But in the interest of justice and brevity, I'll ask the questions. You said that you killed Dr. Truman to keep him from talking. About what? He knew something. Something that could hurt a lot of people. Could you be more specific? If Don finds out that Tommy is his son, we will lose him. How's he going to find out? As long as we keep quiet. Spencer knows. You think he's going to keep quiet? Spencer knew that Tommy, the little boy that Michael and Marcy McBain adopted, he knew that Todd Manning was his biological father. Order. That's a matter for family court. This court is only concerned about matters that pertain to Dr. Truman's death. But that's why I killed him. Because he, he had information that was going to destroy Michael and Marcy. And how did you happen to find out that Dr. Truman knew the secret, Ms. Rappaport? Spencer knows about 
about Donnie. But as long as he doesn't say anything, no one will ever know. It'll break her heart, Rex. If Marcy loses Tommy, it will break her heart. I heard... some people. They were talking about how Spencer knew about Tommy, so I decided that I would go to Spencer and beg him not to say anything. But he laughed in my face. And he said that he was going to tell. And that he was going to wait for the worst possible moment so that he could cause the most pain. Don't you see? I had no choice. I had to kill him. 